What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves an Assault Vest Conqueror team alongside with Weakness Policy Galarian Moltres. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Draco. Draco, thank you so much for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. It looks amazing, and it's featuring a Pokemon that I haven't used in a while, Conkledor, so I cannot wait to get after it and show off this team. But I get a lot of comments in my comment section down below that uh, you guys are like, yo, Jeans, how do I send you teams? How do I give you my team? Like, I have rental code and all that stuff. Send it to me in my Instagram DMs. There's a link down to my Instagram page in the description below, or my name is right below my face game. So type that in, DM me, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But getting started with this team, we have Galarian Moltres up in that top left corner, Berserk Ability, Weakness Policy as his item, Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, both for stab, Nasty Plot to set up, and Protect as our final move. Right next to him is the Pokemon that I really want to use. We got Conqueror over here, Assault Vest, and Iron Fist as his ability. Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch. Three punch moves for coverage, and our punch move for stab is going to be Drain Punch. Middle left, we have Mimikyu over here. Disguise ability, Mental Herb as his item so he can't be taunted. Trick Room to counter Trick Room or set up Trick Room for our team. Taunt to taunt support mons. Play Rough for our stab move, and Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. Sableye sitting right next to him as a nice little support mon for this team. Prankster ability, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. Quash to make the opponent go last, Taunt for support mons, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and will o for his burns on physical attackers. Bottom left corner, we have the one and only Togekiss. I love this Pokemon, and especially I love this moveset on this Pokemon. Super Luck and Scope Blend, so we're going to be able to crit a lot with this guy. Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and Follow Me. I feel like this is the best moveset for Togekiss that you want to use to actually attack and get some kills with. I just love it so much, I feel like it has its coverage moves, and then it has its nice little stab moves, and it just works all around. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Gastrodon, Storm Drain Gastrodon to be exact, with the safety goggles as his item, and then this move set of Ice Beam, Earth Power, Recover, and Scald. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Conkledor team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Dragapult team alongside with Tornadus, Tapu Fini, Ferrothorn, Reggie Draco, and uh, what is that Pokemon's name again? I can't even think of his name. Terrakion, that's what it is, and Terrakion in the final spot, how should we go into this one, how should we lead, but one thing I was checking before we hopped into a battle was the summary on these Pokemon, and our boy right here does not have Dynamax candies, that's going to be tough news, he is EV trained with speed, defense, which isn't bad, we got him, these guys are all Dynamax candy, except for the one that we really want Dynamax candy, that is the Moltres, but it's all good, we're going to find a way around, around it and try to get some wins here, um, I'm thinking of leading maybe Mimikyu, just in case he tries to set up a Tailwind, and kind of maybe trick him and go from there. Hmm. I do have... He does have a decent amount of physical attackers. I might lead you and Mimikyu. Try to get started with that. Bring Tokus in the back end. And then final Pokemon could be Conkledor. I am really digging that. Let's rock out with this team and get after it. But one thing I did want to address before the battles do get started is Pokemon Unite. As you guys know, that game, game releases July 21st, which is very, very soon. I think it's going to come out the day after this recording goes live. And I get a lot of comments saying, yo, Jeans, are you going to be done with Pokemon Sword and Shield content? The answer to that is no. Pokemon Sword and Shield is not going anywhere. We're just going to be playing some Pokemon Unite, bringing it to the channel, spice it up a little bit so we're not playing the same game over and over again. And we're going to be bringing live streams back. So if you guys want to join my live stream, link is down in the description below to my Twitch page. It's Jeans25 on Twitch. Definitely go check it out. Show some love over there and uh, check me out. But we're getting started here. He leads Dragpole and Terrakion. So it's a beat-up squad here. It's a lovely little beat-up squad. I can taunt. I can quash. Um, I think I'm just going to actually will o -Wisp here. I think I'm just going to will o -Wisp and I might end up Trick Room. I can just drop a Play Rock. I could just drop it onto Dragpole if I really want to. Because neither of these guys are going to go down in one turn. Then I can always quash next turn. Oh, I can just drop a Sucker Punch. I actually dropped this play rough over on the U. That's my plan. But I think we're going to see a beat up here. Will O'Wisk comes out first, and we do not see a Dynamax, which is huge. So that's a nice little Will O'Wisk there. Get some burns off on him. And I wonder what he's going to do from here. Beat up comes out here, and he's still going to beat up here. Which is totally fine. We're sashed, and we're disguised. So I'm really liking that he didn't Dynamax there. Because now we can potentially take out in one shot. And we have a big old burn. And I can just sucker punch onto the pole next turn if he's going for an attacking move. And that's the tough problem, is do I think he's going to go for attacking move? He could set up a screens, which I don't like. 
He was hit three times. And here comes my rock slide. Or here comes his rock slide. Which is totally fine, yo. If you get a flinch on my boy, you better not get a flinch on my uh on my Mimikyu. I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna be very upset if you get a flinch on him. Gotta drop that play rough. Yes, sir. Play rough comes through. Big old damage coming out here. Lovely. Gotta love it. Nice big super effective shot. And his item procs, which is a weakness policy on a beat up Pokemon. A little weird. It's a little weird. Burn's gonna chip up, and I think a Shadow Sneak should be able to do the, the enough damage for us. Right? I could Sucker Punch, I could Taunt, or I could Burn. I think I'm just gonna Sucker Punch. Let's see if Sucker Punch can get off here, and Shadow Sneak is gonna fly through. And I think Shadow Sneak should be able to take out this attack down, no problem. Right? Shadow Sneak comes through. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Oh my lord. He's gonna be able to get off another turn. Sucker Punch flies through, and we're getting off some damage with Sableye. Sableye's doing some work. Shadow Ball flies through, and I think we're dead there. I think we're dead with this. Let's see. Eat this up. Nope. Mimi eats, yo. Mimikyu eats all day. Rock Slide flies through. Our Sableye dodges, and Mimikyu might be able to eat this up. One up. Let's see. Nope. He's able to put up enough damage to take us out, but yo, I dig that turn. Get off a burn on you, and we're going to be able to take you out. Another Sucker Punch will take out Dragapult, no problem. But if he's going for attack and move, he's dead. He's gone. Uh, I am going to bring out Tokus here, because I'm probably going to end up Dynamaxing with this Pokemon. He's going to be a lovely little Dynamax, considering we have Scope Lens and Super Luck. So Crits can come out. Crits can come out like crazy. And he's going to bring out Ferrothorn, yo, dude. I got my fire. I got my, my Heat Wave. I got my Max Flare. And I'm going to drop it on you. I'm going to drop it on you big time. Let's get after it. Let's go for that, uh... Go, go for the Sucker Punch again. Yeah, let's Sucker Punch and just go for that Heat Wave. The Sucker Punch will take out. It did more than half last time. A little bit more than half. So, if he is going for an attack and move, it's going to do us good work. Dynamax comes out from you, and if Ferrothorn does not protect, it is a goner, because it's four times super effective, he's steel and grass, we're going to tell this thing to get out of our face, and we're definitely going to get a crit, we are going to get a crit, I just have a good feeling about it, but yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, when, when we were doing a team preview, I love this moveset on the Stokus, just so good all around, Sucker Punch comes through here, and he is attacking again, we can tell Dragapult to get out of our face, big old damage, it wasn't even a crit, but it looked like it dropped a lot quicker, it looked like it dropped a lot quicker that turn, Player comes out here, and I think we're gonna pick up a lovely little double KO here, right? Show it to me. Get him out of here. Big double KO to get this video started. And it was a crit. Like I said, yo, I had a feeling we were gonna get, get a crit. We had a high chance with the item and our uh, ability, and it came out in our favor. Even without the crit, I still see us taking him out, no problem. It's just big damage all around, and now it comes down to a, uh, a 3v1. And we have Conqueror in the back. And if he's physical, it's game over. He's not physical. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. He has the Misty Surge. I do have Thunder Punch in the back. And he is super effective to my Conqueror. And my Sableye. But what can Sableye do here? I could Taunt. But you know he's going to Dynamax, right? Hmm. Uh, let me see the speed right here. Should I Quash? Is Tapu Fini faster? Tapu Fini might be faster. I think I'm going to figure this out right now. Um. Hmm. I can't burn in this terrain, right? Because I would like to throw in a burn. Let's see. Misty terrain, five turns, yeah. Pokemon on the ground won't get any status condition. Is this thing on the ground? I think it's considered on the ground because it's not levitate or anything, so. Hmm. I guess we'll just drop a sucker punch. Or do I just quash it just in case? Let's just do that and drop an airstream. And get after it that way. So we can guarantee speed. But I would love to burn this Pokemon. I would love to burn this Pokemon. But he can't go for a water move. Well, he can, but then he can't at the same time. I think we're just going to see Star Falls drop. Because he's, he's going to waste out a turn if he does go for a geyser. Because we got the heat. It's going to neglect a lot of that damage. I think he has to. Something along those lines. But we're sitting really good in battle number one. I'm liking where we're sitting. Your boy is playing pretty solid here. We have a nice little lead here. Sucker Punch 5 so Even though we're not doing a lot of damage, it's better than nothing. So we get that off, and we're going to be able to drop an airstream. Show me a crit. Give me as much damage as we can. That might have been a crit. That might have been a crit. Let's see. It was a crit. Lovely. Lovely. Speed gets boosted for both of us, and we don't even have to worry about this thing outspeeding us. We were we were faster than it anyway. Starfall comes through here. And he's going to take out you, which, yo, I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. That's fine. He goes down. We're going to be, be able to bring out Conqueror here. So he's going to do the same thing, too. He's going to go for another Starfall, and he shows his items of leftovers. So what I'm going to do here is he's probably going to max guard, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to kick... Like token kiss. I'm going to uh, go for an airstream and go for a thunder punch. I think that's our play. Get speed on some Conqueror here and try to get rocking. Let's get it. 
Let's get it. If he was smart, he would guard. That would be his play. But we're going for that airstream all day. We need Conqueror to get a little bit more speed so we can outspeed this top of Finny. And there's the guard. Okay, so he does guard. Smart little cookie. Um, the real question is, do I go for a follow me here? Do I go for a follow me? I think I have to, right? Because I think Conqueror is our, like, our best bet of winning this battle. Is just go for a nice little follow me here and drop some thunder punches. Those are our fist moves are powered up, so we're gonna go for a thunder punch and I'm just gonna follow me this. This is gonna be a starfall right into my toad kiss, and I think toad kiss should be able to eat this one up all day. But there goes follow me. We don't have protect on any of these guys, which kind of stinks. I would love to have protect on it. And there's the starfall. So we read that coming in here. Toad kiss should be able to eat up fine. Yep, all day. I, so I can go for another follow me. Thunder punch comes through. And yes, we are totally going for another follow me. We're totally going for another follow me. I think we have to here. I think we have to. Because if he goes for a moon blast onto my uh, Conqueror, he might be dead. But if he goes for a gleam, we could totally eat that up. And one more thunder punch should be able to do enough damage to win us out this battle. But let's see his play. Good protect again. Follow me comes out here. I know gleam we can eat up. We're assault vested. But a moon blast is scary. And he goes for an ice beam. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Ice beam comes out here and we go down. And we go down. But this is one reason I wish we rocked Mach Punch on this uh, Conqueror. Have that first turn priority, which I really like. But Thunder Punch should be able to do enough here, right? Yep, get this Pokemon out my game. And we take battle number one in a close one. But awesome. We got to show up Conqueror and catch yourselves that win. Second battle coming at you guys. Looking to go back to back in today's video. We're going up against a very, very strong team here. He has the Indidian Hatterene for Trick Room. The Glacier to power through in Trick Room. And then he also has the Torquil and Venusaur with the Urshfu in the back end. Not liking this one. I'm not liking how this one's looking. It's not looking good for your boy already. Because this guy has a powerhouse of a team. Um, I think I have to lead the Mimikyu in order to maybe counter up Trick Room if he's going for it. Um, if he has, If he brings physical attackers, I think... He could be good by Sableye, but at the same time, I really don't want to bring Sableye. Same time, I really don't want to bring the Sableye. I could lead you. Could lead this guy. He's not too shabby. Is that what I want to do? I might lead you. Yeah, let's lead you. And then go in with, uh... Hmm. We don't need Gashon. I feel like Gashon doesn't do a lot here. Do not need Gashon. Let's go in with Togekiss. And... Final Pokemon Conqueror? Yeah, let's go Conqueror here. I'm not liking this one bit. This is just looking real tough. Especially, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys, but our, uh, our Glary Moltres does not have Dynamax candies. He does not have Dynamax candies. He's the only one on the team without him. And he's the, probably the only one I would want to have him, because he's probably the best one. <laughs> but it's all good. It is all good. Let's see who he leads. Is he going to go Trick Room? Is he going to go Venusaur? He's going to go Trick Room. So he goes Indeedee and Hatterene. Which is totally fine. I can end up taunting, or I can end up Trick Room on my own. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? He sets the Psychic Surge, which I'm totally fine with. Do I set the Trick Room and make the read? Do I make the read? I might make the read. Because I can just go Trick Room from here, or I can Taunt. I can Taunt and go for a Fiery Wrath, which is pretty nice here. And then just Trick Room next turn. But in that case, then he has to go for an attacking move. Um, let's just trick him. Let's make the hard read. Let's make the hard read. So this could be good or it could be really bad for us. I could plot here. I think I'm going to go for a plot. Then he goes for follow me into trick room. And then we counter trick room and get a nasty plot up. Let's see. Show me that you are a trick room. Ahead, man. Show it to me. We're gonna send our trick room. Hopefully he counteracts it with his trick room. Let's go. Let's go. Free nasty plot set up. Free plot set up. Wonderful. We got a free nasty plot set up on the board. Um hmm. I could taunt on the Hatterene. And just go for this fiery wrath. Do we think he's gonna go for another follow me? Might not. Let's go for darkness. Let's go for this darkness. Let's Dynamax him. Even though we don't have Dynamax candies, we're plus two now. Let's Dynamax and try to get after his Pokemon. 
Yo, smart play by me. Read that trick room. Trick room on my own to cancel it out and get off a free nasty ball. So smart first turn for me. We are sitting at plus two. We do we still have policy as well and berserk ability. But again, we're not fully HP. But that's all Dynamax candies do is it gives you more HP. It doesn't give us better attack stats in Dynamax or any of that. But I would still like the extra HP. He's gonna end up dropping a helping hand. Oh yo, yes sir. Let's just taunt this thing. Let's just taunt on this thing. Max Darkness comes through here, and he is rocking the Cobra Berry. The Cobra Berry just come out and about. It's fine by me. I'm gonna end up, end up doing this. Still doing a huge amount of damage, getting that special defense drop, which I really, really like. I really like. I'm guessing he has Glacier in the back. So hopefully we can force him out and uh, get some work on him before he gets off the Trick Room, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. Tom comes out here, and he has Magic Bounce. Wow, we taunted back onto us. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. But, yo, now we are taunted, but we have a Mental Herb. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's going to go for a Gleam. I'm totally fine with that Gleam all day. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Doing a big amount of damage on us. A little bit too big of damage. Guys, Pops. Um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because now we're plus four. Now we are plus four. And we're sitting at a lovely plus five, actually. Hold up. Yo, we plus five. <laughs> We have plus five. That thing shows his orb. We have speed all day. He can go for a follow me, but I'm just going to shadow sneak. I cannot shadow sneak, but we still... Is Mimikyu faster? Well, that could be tough. Mimikyu is not faster. I'm not liking. I'm going to go for that. Uh, I guess we'll go for darkness. Or should I guard? I think I might guard here. I am going to end up guarding. That's going to be a play. I'm going to max guard here. I don't want him going into a follow me. If he goes follow me, he's going to neglect that, that shot here. Wow, he does not. We could have just dumped on that Hatterene. Play rough comes out here. A Dazzle Gleam is going to pop here again. Wow. That's tough news for us. But I'm surprised he's not going for the Shrikern. I'm surprised he's not going for that Shrikern. I'm super surprised he's not doing that. Dude, I could have just dumped on Hatterene no problem. He's gonna throw out Glacier. He's gonna throw out Glacier. I think I'm gonna read a guard and I think I'm gonna read a trick room. Um, so I think he might guard here. Like I said, I could Shadow Sneak. I could play rough. I'm gonna play rough onto this thing and I am going to go for a, an Airstream or a Darkness. What would be better? Do we have any special attackers in the back end? We do. We do have Toe Kiss with a Heat Wave. So I think a, a special defense drop would be better. Let's take out this Hatterene. We're sitting at plus five. And no guard comes out here. Wow, dude, this guy's just not guarding. He's just not Dynamaxing. I think I'm thinking too much into it. I should have just dumped on the Glacier. That would have been a play. We got a special defense drop, and I think Moltres is going to go down here to an Mystic Crash, unless he misses, which would be which would be big for us. It would be big for us. Player Rough comes out, getting some damage off on this thing. Just a little bit, and hopefully he misses. Let's see what he does. Oh, we just can go straight for a Heavy Slam. I'm with that turn. Thank you very much. You can take out Mimikyu. Keep my plus five Moltres alive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He's going to get that chilling A boost, which I'm totally fine with. And I think I just bring out Conqueror, right? Does the Conks come in here? Or do I bring out the Togi Wogi? I think Conqueror's going to... Oh, I can follow me. Ooh. Ooh. Potentially keep my Galarian Moltres out here for another turn. I'm digging that. You can go for Heavy Slam on me. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm gonna send out Urshku. So, uh, yeah, I think just a follow me is gonna be great here. And we drop a Fiery Wrath. Double up on these guys. Right? Fiery Wrath's gotta be the play. Let's go for the follow me. Even though, yo, look at all the moves that we can use. I just think Urshku outspeeds and I, I don't like it one bit. Fiery Wrath is probably the play here. As much as I wanna go for an Air Slash, I think Fiery Wrath is just a little bit better. And he could Dynamax here. Maybe I should have went for the Air Slash. Are you going to Dynamax the Glacier or the Urshku? That's the real question. Who are you going to Dynamax here? Who are you going to Dynamax? Going to be the horse. The horse is coming at me. So good thing we did drop a nice little Fiery Wrath here. And I'm just hoping we can just dodge some turns here and get off some big damage with our, uh, with our big old bird. Let's see how he plays this one. Follow me comes out here. Do we have plus one on speed or do we go for Max Darkness both turns? I honestly forget a little bit. Wicked Blows can come through here, which I think we should be able to eat up fine and get off this resonance. Yeah, all day. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. He gets a crit. Oh, well, it's guaranteed. Always forget it. Fire Wrath comes through. Bank doing some nice damage. Doing some nice damage on both these Pokemon. And here comes the Hailstorm. The Hailstorm probably takes us out here. Right? What can we eat somehow? Nope. Chilling Knight is boosted. He is boosted up on Chilling Knight. I can't protect because he's going to be able to hit through. Oh, now it's looking a little tough for us. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be game. I think he's just going to one-tap onto my both my Pokemon. Tough news. Tough news. Solid battle all around, though. I just feel like we, we uh, played that one good in the beginning, and then towards the end, it kind of like got out of hand for us. I'm trying to think, what, what else could I have done differently to actually win that battle? Maybe Air Slash on that Urshfu would have been the play. That might have been the play would be the Air Slash on Urshfu, because if you think Urshfu would have been down and would have came to a 2v1, maybe a Drain Punch would have been able to take it out. Uh, what do I go for? Drain Punch on Urshfu? Yeah, because I can see that KO in him. And I can't protect. I mean, we can't go for another Fiery Wrath. I could just straight up Air Slash onto you. I'm going to Air Slash onto the Glacier. Let's go for that. Let's see how this one plays out. Urshfu's definitely going for a Wicked Blow onto my, onto my bird. And then I think Glacier just takes out, takes me out. So let's see. Hopefully he makes a mistake. Hopefully he doesn't do that. Let me get something rolling here. Here goes the Wicked Blow. Yep, all day. Conqueror, I'm going to need you to eat here. Conqueror eats, we have a shot. Conqueror eats, we have a shot here. I think I think I would have protected all day. I would have protected all day there. If I could, but I knew Urshfu was coming in here. The Conqueror KO, he does. So Conqueror picks up a big KO here. And we need him to KO here. Or not KO, we need him to eat up. And Seal Spike comes through, can he eat? It's not stab. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, and he still picks up the KO considering he was plus two. The big damage coming out from the Glacier, and he ends up picking up that win in that very close battle. But we can hop into our third one and look for that winning record. We ended up losing that last battle, but I really did like the plays that we made. Especially turn one, we counteracted the Trick Room with our own Trick Room, set up a nice spot, and we got one with Galarian Moltres. But I wish he was Dynamax Candy. If he was Dynamax Candy, we actually might have won that second battle, considering he would have had more HP, and that Wicked Blow was not very effective, so I feel like it wasn't going to be able to do enough if we had a little bit more HP. But it's all good. We're hopping into our third battle, looking for that winning record, and we're going up against a really tough team. He has Clefairy alongside a Spectre, Stakataka, Torkoal and Venusaur Drought Squad, and Mamoswine. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, Mamoswine is a king. He is one of the best Pokemon in the online rank ladder. Just check out that video. It will explain everything there. But I think I had to lead the Conqueror here just in case he goes in with the Clefairy. He can hit it up pretty hard. Uh, who else can I go into? That's a nice little lead. He does have that Mamoswine, which I'm really scared of. I'm scared of the Mamoswine and the Venusaur. The, this, this Pokemon in general are really tough. They're really good as well. He does have Ice, which is scary. Uh, hmm. Could go in with Gastro. Let me see Gastro stats real quick. I see we have 20 seconds. I am. I'm thinking Gastro here. Let's go Gastro. Let's bring Gastro on. Uh, let's bring Tokus in the back end, and then final Pokemon could be Mimikyu or let's go Moltres. Let's get Moltres rocking out here. You gotta love this Pokemon. This is a great Pokemon all around. We're going to bring him in here and look for that winning record. I don't know. It's not looking too good for you, boy. First battle was really good. Second battle was solid as well. I wish he would have picked up that winning battle number two. It was super close. Super, super close. Let's see how this one plays out. And something that we could have done in order to actually win battle number two was not max guard and just play the easy plays. Because we tried to make reads way too much. I think it was two turns that we wasted on making plays. We would have won it so easily. But he goes Clefairy and Sakutaku, which uh, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with I'm going to drop a Drain Punch. Can't yeah, drop a Drain Punch. Uh, do I drop a Drain Punch? Hmm. I drop a Fire Punch. Could lead the target with a Burn. I'm going to go for the Burn. Uh, I could Earth Power. I could Scald the Dynamax here as well. I don't want to do it. I might actually swap Confidor. What do I think he's going to go for? Go for a steel shot on you. Mm. Tough, dude. We got two backhand Pokemon that we can't really do much with. All right, let's go for this burn. Let's go for this lovely little burn. Actually, let's go for Drain Punch. Hopefully, he doesn't follow me, which he probably will. And I think we'll just Earth Power. I think we'll just Earth Power. Get that going. There's follow me. Dang it, man. Should have went for the Fire Punch. Earth Power is still gonna be able to drop through here, and he's not gonna Dynamax, which I like. He's gonna do like no damage there. 
Earth power's gonna get flying through here. Ice beam. Oh, did we not get it off in turn in time? That's why. Give me a freeze though. Nope. Trick room comes out. Ouch. All right. That means Gastron is our Dynamax Pokemon. 100% got a Dynamax Gastron. Let's chop this Fire Punch this time. Get it from the side. Which one is? Are they all the same amount of power? It should be right. 75 to 80. Okay. Now which one would be best bet? Probably Fire Punch. I mean, I'd rather Fire Punch onto you. And if it doesn't go, then then I'll just take it away. I can drop a geyser and actually get rain more for us, which I am going to do. I would love to get some rain out here. Rain out and about. Let's see his play. He's definitely going to Dynamax Saka Taka. If he gets off the Trick Room, he definitely has to have Torkoal in the back end then. I think he's going to be rocking Torkoal and Venusaur. He's going to end up Dynamaxing you. Uh oh. Saka Taka, dude. In Trick Room, really, really good Pokemon. Really, really good Pokemon. But wait, what? Oh, Clefairy is fairy now. I I always get confused. I was like, yo, why isn't fighting super effective to it? Because I used to like I'm used to it always being normal. But he's part fairy now, so that's why. That's why it's not very effective. If there was all curveball, if there was all curveball by changing all their typings to fairy, I think fairy is a great type. And when they added that to the game, I was like, Ooh, I don't really know. But yo, it fits into this game so perfectly. I think they did a wonderful job with that typing. But it's crazy. Like, what what's the next typing gonna be? I feel like they have to add one, another one soon. Because last time they add one, what was it? Gen 6. It was Gen 6. I think maybe next gen they'll add one or the one after it. We'll see. We'll see. But I wonder which what, what they're going to do. Follow me comes out here. Steel Spike is going to pop. He's going to go after Conqueror. Can you eat comps? All day, baby. All day you're eating. All day you're eating. He gets a defense boost, so Fire Punch is not going to do as much. But your boy is special attacking out here. And we have a bunch of special attackers in the back, so... I dig it. Guys are fly through. Can we pick up KO here? We do not. Can Fire Punch pick up the KO? Probably not now. What am I thinking? If I'm Geyser, why am I Fire Punching? What am I doing? Alright, we still pick up KO. We get a crit, yes! <laughs> Pokey guys were like, Jeans, you can slide on that one. We'll give you a crit here. <laughs> so I dig that. He's gonna throw out his next Pokemon, which could be the Torkoal. Could indeed be the Torkoal. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that one bit because then I, I just set up rain. Don't bring out the Torkoal. Don't do it to me. God dang it, man. He brings out the Torkoal. So he brings out this Torkoal. I am going to geyser onto the Torkoal just so we can guarantee us changing up the weather. And I think we just drain punch onto this thing. He's in trick room because I, oh I would love to drop a fire punch on that thing. I would love to drop fire punch on that thing. But we're going to go over onto this Torkoal, just to get some water off. And he could, if he was smart, he would swap it to the Venusaur, if he had it. That would be clutch move. Let's see if he does it. I don't think he has a Moxie. I see him maybe protecting the Torkoal. Or maybe just going for an eruption to try to get rid of my Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Eruption comes out of here. Conqueror, I'm sorry buddy, you're gone. <laughs> Conqueror gets dumped on. He's out of here. He's out of here. But yo, I'm, I'm kind of fine with what's going on right now. Knuckles is going to fly through here. He's looking for that attack boost. Not going to do a lot of damage. But the attack boost is where it's at. He has one more turn left in Dynamax. Um, I don't know who I bring out here. Who do I bring out here? Pokekiss or Moltres? I think Moltres. I think we protect with the Moltres. Because I know what's called doesn't have a protect. Togekiss. But I'd rather come out here with Moltres, protect, and maybe Quake. Quake into that... That Torkoal right there. Do we Quake into the Torkoal or do we Geyser? I think Quake would be able to take it out and get that special defense boost. So I am going to bring out the Moltres. And I'm just going to protect them. I see Sakataka going after that Moltres hard. Right? I see that happening. So let's protect. Protect our pretty little bird. Get off Quake and rock out from there. I'm digging it. I'm digging this turn. I'd rather get that special defense boost than go for a geyser because geyser are really not going to do anything except for bigger damage and i think the quake can do enough to take it out and give us a special defense boost at the same time unless he protects that's the only way but we're kind of sitting here just trying to waste out trick room turns that's really where i'm at in this final battle that's what i'm trying to do we get off that protect but i think sakataka is going into my bird eruption comes out here it's going to do no damage it's nothing get out of here you, you, you could be choice into that. But yeah, look at that. Like three damage. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. 
Don't need him here. Rockfall comes through here onto my bird. Good thing we did protect. We should be able to eat this one up just fine now. Yep. Nice little tasty snack. We eat up. I really do think that this, uh, this stock attack is policy. I'm thinking it is policy. So we're sitting nice here. There goes our policy, which is huge. Which is huge. And I wonder how the trigger might have ended. The trigger might end here. And if the trigger does end, that is huge. That is huge. Quake comes out here. Toko out my lob. Get him out of here. Get this dude out my face. Don't need him here. Gasher was a good choice for this lead. Look at Gasher, you know. Little slug Pokemon coming up big for us. He's putting us on his back right now. Show me that trick or meds. Hey, yo, the Twisted Dimensions, they're gone. Show me that they're gone. I think they might have one more turn, which I don't like. I don't like because we are policy. There goes Mamo. Mamo's out and about. Um, I think I'm going to have to Scald on that thing, right? Drop a Scald and maybe go for Fiery Wrath. I could go for the Double Protect. That could be the play. I could recover here. I don't think it's worth going for the Double Protect, right? Look at them stats, though. Look at them stats, though. Go for a Fiery Wrath, and I think we're just going to go for a Scald, or I could go for an EP. Hmm. Not raining anymore. Uh, ch 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 Earth power is way better. Go for an Earth power. I want the Sakataka. Maybe Scald on the Mamo. Go for it. Let's run it. Trickle will end next turn. The body press comes out from Sakataka. He's going after him. Yo, leave me alone. Eat this up, Gastro. Love you. Love you, Gastron. Skull comes out here. Think. And bring him down that low. I dig that. And what are you going for, Mamo? Icicle Spear. You're dead. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're dead. All right. So Togekiss should come out here. And I think Togekiss should be able to outspeed. Togekiss should be able to outspeed. With that said, I can go for a recover. I can go for a recover if I really want to. Because I'm thinking I can just, like, recover and go for a, uh, a heat wave. A heat wave should be able to take out Mammoth Swine, no problem. Just get some HP back. Let's see how this one plays out. Because Takataka is slowest. Mammoth Swine could protect you. He could protect. They could go for a Protect and Trick Room. This one's tough. This one's really close. I'm digging these battles we had today with this team. I'm really liking them. I really am liking them. Let's see how this one plays. Make a move, dude. Make a move. I need to get this recover off. And I don't want the Mammoth Swine just going into my, uh, my Gastron and KO in them. It's tough. But I need Togekiss to outspeed the Mammoth Swine. I do not know the speeds. Let's see what happens. Ice Shard comes through here. I think we should be able to eat that, right? Yes, sir. Big eat there. Heat Wave comes through here. Okay, Sakataka boys, but Mammoth Swine goes down. I'm fine with that turn all day. I'm fine with it all day. Gastron outspeed Sakataka, so recover is perfect. We're going to get a lot of HP back, and we should be able to rock out from here. But I don't think Sakataka, Sakataka can KO us. I would have been so mad if we missed that uh, Mammoth Swine. That's nice HP, and Trick Room is going to get popping again. Okay. Uh, I'm cool with that. Twist Dimensions go on his side. And I might follow me and go for another recover. What do I do? What do I do? This one's tough. I think I have to, right? I think that's our best bet. Let's do that. Let's go for another recover. Let's see his play. Is he going for a steel move? Oh, then he can beast boost up. Hmm. Maybe I should just drop that up uh, Quake. Not Quake. Maybe I should just drop the uh, Earth Power. Gets off that trick room. I'm just thinking, if I, if I drop that here, if I drop that last turn, I would have been down to 10 HP. This one plays out. Gyro Ball's coming out. Ouch. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Nope. No eat comes out there. But Gashon is sitting really high on HP. Beast Boost coming out here. And what's he stacking up on? Defense? I'm fine with defense. We're special attacking. So Beast Boost isn't really doing much for him. I know he's plus one on attack, but Gyro Ball is based on defense. That's tough. That's tough. What is he, plus? Dude, he's plus three, maybe. Let me see his stats. Plus two. Okay. Go for the EP. 
That's my plan. But I think it might be policy, and that's our problem. That it could potentially be policy here. And I don't know what other item he could be. Policy, maybe? He's not choice on anything. He's not orbed. Body press comes through here. And can we eat that? We are able to eat that. I need some big damage out from you, Gastron. Need it from you. Give me a crit. Show me something dirty. Oh my lord, yo. What a battle. What a battle. And there's his item. What's the policy this whole time? That's GG's. That is going to be GG's. Unless he misses. Dance sort of subsides. We do not have a protect. Dang, man. We do not have first turn priority either. That's GG's, yo. We need this thing to miss. I don't think he can miss on any of those moves. Like body pressing all of them. I don't think they miss. Let's see body press flies through. That's going to be GG's, yo. What a set of battles for today. All great battles. Even though we went one and two, they all came down to the wire and were really, really close. Draco, one last shout out to you, my man, for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely loved it all around. Even though we went one and two, I feel like this team still showed off. We still got to show off some cool battles and show off these Pokemon to their fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.